Now, in the previous videos, we talked about the properties of metals and non-metals. And now we're going to get into bonding of elements and bonding of atoms and all that. How do we form compounds? So, in this series, we're going to talk about two types of bonding, ionic bonding and covalent. And now let's start with ionic bonding. Well, ionic bonding involves something called ions. And ions are basically elements that form a positive or a negative charge. Now, how is that? In the previous video, in when we discussed electronic configuration, we mentioned something about sodium. You mentioned sodium has an electronic configuration config of 2, 8, and 1. So, 2 in the first energy level, 8 in the second energy level, and 1 in the third energy level. And this one electron is in the last level. So, Sodium tends to lose this electron to form sodium plus. Now, sodium plus is a positive ion. Now, sodium here became an ion. Here it's an element, here it's an ion. Now, similarly, let's look at chlorine. So, chlorine. And chlorine has an electronic configuration of. 2, 8, and 7. Now, you notice, you notice this. In the last energy level, there are 7 electrons. Not like here. There is only 1 electron. It's easy to notice. But, let's take a look at our periodic table. Now, where is chlorine? Chlorine is a group 7. So, chlorine is here. Now, after chlorine, there is argon. An argon is a noble gas. And noble gases, so let's label them, noble gases are group 8. So group 8. And noble gases are the most stable elements found in the periodic table. They, they don't tend to react, they don't tend to form positive ions, they don't tend to form negative ions, nothing. They are very, very stable. Now, Elements in the periodic table want to do the same. They want to be stable as the noble gases. So what they do is, in case of chlorine, what happens? Chlorine has seven electrons in its outermost shell. Now, argon has eight electrons. So the electronic configuration of argon is 18 here and is 2, 8, and 8. Now, chlorine wants to be like argon, so chlorine gains an electron. So here, chlorine gains an electron to become chlorine minus with an electronic configuration of 2, 8, 8. Now, how will this also apply to sodium? Well, the same thing. Sodium is right here. And it's a group 1 metal. Now, what's the, near what's the nearest... Noble gas to sodium. It's neon. It's right before sodium. So what does sodium want to do? It wants to become like neon. So what it does is it loses an electron. And that's what we said in the beginning. So sodium has an atomic number 11. Which means it has 11 electrons. While neon has 10 electrons. So it loses, sodium loses an electron to become neon plus and it has now 10 electrons so what elements tend to do is that they tend to attain the electronic configuration of noble gas so let's write let's write this conclusion so conclusion so conclusion elements in the periodic table tend to attain noble gas configuration config okay 
Now, how will this apply to ionic bonding? We said ionic bonding involves ions. Now, let's see. Ionic bonding usually involves a metal and a non-metal. So let's write this. So ionic bonding. What are the characteristics of ionic bonding? Well, first, it's, it's between a metal and a non-metal. That's the first thing. And the second thing, it involves ions. Now, let's see. Ionic bonding exists between, for example, sodium and chlorine. And why is that? Sorry, chlorine for starters. Now, how is that? Well, first, sodium, as we said, tends to lose electrons. So it loses electrons. And chlorine tends to gain electrons. Okay? So sodium loses an electron, chlorine gains it, and everybody's happy. Now, ionic bonding forms, so it becomes NaCl, which is table salt. Now here, there is Na+, plus, and here there is Cl-. minus. So what keeps this compound together? Well, what keeps this compound together is the difference in charge. So there is positive here and negative here, and positive attracts the negative opposite charges attract each other and that's how the bond forms so let's recap so in this video we said we're gonna discuss ionic bonding and ionic bonding involves something called ions and ions are basically elements that tend to form negative and positive charges now how will elements do that? How will elements lose and gain charge? Well, we said that elements tend to attain noble gas configuration. They want to be like noble gases because they're stable. They don't react. They want to gain the stability. Now, what happens is an ion, right? Sorry, not an ion. For example, like sodium here, sodium the nearest gas to sodium, noble gas, sorry, to sodium is neon. And neon has 10 electrons, while sodium has 11. So what sodium does, it tends to lose this extra electron to become like neon. And finally, we talked about the characteristics of ionic bonding. And we said that it's very important for ionic bonding, is that it involves a metal and a non-metal. And those elements are ions and here we took NaCl as an example we said that sodium loses electrons and Cl tends to gain electrons so here sodium gives the Cl the electron it wants and sodium at the same time is happy it lost the extra electron now it forms NaCl with Na plus and Cl minus and what keeps the bond together is the negative the difference in charge positive attracts the negative so i hope this video cleared what is ionic bonding for you guys so keep on practicing on ionic bonding hopefully you'll become experts at that and in the next video we're going to talk about covalent bonding so stay tuned and good luck